Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Farina Besmechi and today I'm going to present on the topic of digital intersectional gender responsive approach to the issue of sexual violence against women in the global pandemic. Uh, again, people can be recognized as vulnerable depending on their specific circumstances, such as uh, their exposure to hazard or their access to services that could help them recuperate from disaster impact. Due to a structural gender inequality and sex discrimination, which limit women's autonomy in decision making and minimize their access to opportunities and resources. Uh, Women are considered a vulnerable group at high risk of exposure to disaster. Uh, on the other hand, women are susceptible to gender-based violence and sexual violence due to a variety of factors, such as uh, lower access to uh, paid employment, lower levels of education, patriarchal values, such as a uh, belief in honor regarding women's sexuality, lack of preventive policies uh, for sexual violence, and poverty. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, specific regulations and limitations on the everyday lives of people like curfews and lockdowns were rolled out on a um, global scale, resulting in an escalation of social and economic vulnerability and loss. All led to higher uh, level of social vulnerability and economic vulnerability, leading to a higher level of sexual violence against uh, women during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, due to pervasiveness of sexual violence against women, the experience of uh, women who endured sexual violence during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic was called a pandemic within a pandemic. Uh, to address this global issue, responsive actions based on accurate data uh, should have been taken swiftly. However, since women and marginalized people are vulnerable groups and their vulnerability can be intensified during a situation of crisis, and because the main target of sexual violence is women and a higher number of marginalized women uh, experience sexual violence, it is necessary to prioritize women's uh, issues and incorporate an intersectional approach uh, to counter sexual violence uh, against women during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, although some scholars took women's vulnerability into account and recommended some response systems to ameliorate the impact of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic on uh, women's empowerment, they were unable to consider the experience of marginalized population in their analysis. Um, Argue that a, a suitable or a responsive action to address sexual violence during a global pandemic should uh, be cautious of uh, pandemic characteristics such as a limited and discouraged uh, human touch and connection, lockdown and or curfews, and uh, migration to the digital sphere for many social and personal activities. And B, it should be uh, it should consider the specific forms of vulnerability women face during the pandemic, including social and economic vulnerabilities. And C, it uh, should incorporate an intersectional approach to address marginalized women's issue regarding sexual violence against them. Uh, the most effective uh, approach for the purpose of uh, preventive sexual violence against women, reducing its cases and ameliorating the negative effect uh, experienced by the victim of sexual violence during the COVID-19 pandemic is the gen uh, digital gender responsive intersectional approach. Uh, the DGRI approach uh, promotes uh, policies uh, and implements the program that uh, include specific actions geared at understanding gender and other structural inequalities. Its main goal is uh, the uh, movement towards the formation of a multidimensional gender-informed response uh, to this and future emerging um, infectious disease. The focus of DGRI is on four major areas, promoting uh, gender equality through accessible uh, digital literacy uh, initiatives, educating uh, women and men on sexual violence, highlighting communities and uh, law enforcement at the uh, national and global level. The DGRI approach operating at the micro level prioritize individuals' empowerment through education to mitigate the risk of sexual violence against women. In the context of crisis like COVID-19 pandemic, digital literacy and equitable internet access are crucial for preventing gender-based violence by facilitating access to support networks and discrete reporting uh, mechanisms. Uh, despite lockdown uh, disruptions to traditional uh, avenues of assistance, digital platforms uh, serve as 
vital uh, lifelines for survivors. Addressing disparities in digital resources is essential to bolstering uh, resilience against women uh, among marginalized groups. Moreover, the DGRI approach seeks to raise awareness of uh, sexual rights and combat stigmas, thereby improving uh, sexual violence against women data accuracy and enhancing community support system. Given increased uh, uh, risk of sexual violence during the pandemic, particularly among marginalized population, educating both men and women about sexual rights and responsibilities become uh, imperative. Additionally, with the shift of harassment to online platform, the DGR approach plays a crucial role in preventing online sexual violence uh, by promoting proper online conduct and respecting boundaries. At the meso level, the DGR approach focuses on the community involvement in preventing sexual violence against women during crises like the COVID-19 pandemic. Lockdown measures increase the social vulnerability among uh, women uh, due to isolation. Uh, emphasizing the importance of community support network. Online platforms facilitate the role of community net, uh, groups in promoting gender equality and providing essential services such as uh, counseling and hotlines. Organizations uh, like uh, university and workplaces can enact policies to uh, address the structural discrimination and empower marginalized individuals uh, economically, reducing their vulnerability to violence. However, disparities in uh, digital literacy and internet access hinder marginalized groups' uh, participation in these initiatives, exacerbating malaresis. Bridging the, uh, this digital divide through a uh, comprehensive literacy program can empower communities to effectively combat gender-based uh, gender violence during crisis. At the macro level, governments can combat sexual violence against women by adopting the DGR approach, which addresses the vulnerability of marginalized women during crises like uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. This uh, approach emphasizes uh, the importance of preventive policies, criminalizing all forms of sexual violence and providing protective services for survivors. By prioritizing women's uh, equal rights uh, at national and global level, the DGR approach challenges uh, patriarchal values and promotes women's empowerment, leading to a reduction in social and economic vulnerability and consequently sexual violence against women rights. Um, additionally, focusing on areas such as the gender wage gap, uh, women's data collection, and internet accessibility and literacy can further contribute to reducing sexual violence against women by addressing systemic uh, inequalities and ensuring comprehensive support for survivors. Thank you so much for your attention. I'm looking forward to discussing uh, this topic further with you.